so in previous session we had created hal boilerplate so we had created our own ifoo dot hal uh, hal interface hidl interface so uh, uh, once we have created now it this is the time to uh, write our code so we have all the templates ready uh, inside vendor folder and we have to start writing our code so before doing anything more before uh, we proceed anything further we need to uh, generate uh, we need to compile dot hal file okay so we'll go into vendor and uh, we'll just check if we have set up the environment okay lunch 22 is for x36 64 bit uh, this for emulator basically here for for us now we'll go into vendor interface and then we'll go yeah in so we will go into foobar one dot here we have uh, ifubar.hell right and we do have a default folder for for placing our health service implementation and uh, foobar is the one which provides the feature uh, feature or the the method functionality or functions functions uh, implementation which we declare in ifoobar.hell so what we did we had uh, introduced a new api hal api okay in ifoobar okay so uh, this get version so this will return us a certain version and um, so that's the only api we are using with just a single api we are implementing this uh, whole source code so um, so so to proceed for implementation here okay here to implement any of this okay uh i'll just show here four dot we are default four dot h we need this file okay i foo bar dot h and this i foo bar dot h will be generated from uh this i foo bar dot hal okay this will generate uh those files and uh and that's the reason we need to first compile it there's a dependency so without this so we cannot proceed further so we have to just do mm here and that will do the job so let's do that mm and this uh, location to to locally compile this particular module okay so let's wait for a while So it takes a little uh, time. I have this to uh, didn't record for some time, just to avoid lengthy uh, recording. So, so now uh, we have uh, uh, ifobar compiled. Now, what we will do? I uh, will try to explore what is actually done. Okay, so we'll go into um, C root c root will just do c root and then we'll go out okay and then inside this we'll have song and then we'll go into uh, what, what all things uh, got got here so intermediate this is important here uh, we'll go inside uh, inside vendor because we did for vendor and uh, we'll we'll just for just for for a second i'll just cross verify if anything is there in uh here in this place so we don't have uh there'll be framework kernel preview test system package lib core hardware extension so just uh, to cross verify within this by any chance if anything got generated so find fun i name start containing full bar so so nothing is going to vendor and then we have oer dev foo hardware interface foo bar one dot uh, this one so here we got things generated ls hyphen l mm, 
okay all right so just to skip this default for now I'll just let's check uh, this one mm, here we do have uh, things generated so we have uh, these are the files for java because we did uh, java true right so i'll just show that thing uspq when vendor then uh, we'll go into this here and then foobar android.bp if you see this one we'll have gen java true right and uh, we do have things for um, things for product specific true so this will generate in vendor and this is uh, the one which is generating java so if you don't have this we'll not have any gen any java uh, stuff in this location so anyways so we are uh, concerned so vts is also there by default vts files are generated so we are not going to bother about this adapter is also generated we are also not going to bother about this okay for 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 time being because our intention is only to write um, hal as of now not to test it not to do vts on that that will be separate session and java also we are not worried so basically we are left with uh, these two places and this one okay this specific location so we can do tree here oer dev um foobar and then if we go do tree to this one there are a lot of things but ultimately there's the location for dot so file okay so that's the location and dot so and dot uh, a also i mean to say static and dynamic library so this the this the path which generates uh, uh system object dot so file okay this 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 uh, file which we are going to uh, have in our device and then this will be uh, shared okay uh, shared between the the vendor implementation hal and vendor okay so this this contains uh, um in the library uh for foobar um, specific okay the hal interface we created right so this this had to be this this uh, system object had to be referred by both client as well as um as well as uh service right so that's the reason it is shared library otherwise we could have uh integrated only in service right so that's the reason two places it is going to refer it. anyways now we have uh uh, what else gen c++ and gen headers okay so we are going to concentrate in this this is something interesting this is something which we need to uh, deal with okay so we'll do like this insert and once we do this we get these many files so these are very important actually okay so uh, these are include okay these are headers actually so in, in and uh, this ifu.h got generated ifu and then we got ihw uh, foobar and also bs bphw h so all these things we we can explore later but for now uh, we need only this particular file ifubar.h okay we need to check this what is inside ifubar um so we'll, we'll check that also just let's consider this one okay so we'll go inside this uh, whatever tree we did mm, so we'll go back c root and we'll go into vendor all right so we reached here now uh, if we we are good to start writing our code all right so uh, before we start writing our code we will create a service file okay before we do anything else here so we'll create a service dot cpp and we'll update bp to compile this also okay so we'll have this source and uh, okay so we did uh, necessary things now we do uh, refer to this shared thing shared files and objects so let, let it be like this but certain things we need to fix here first this is a this is a pass through well 
uh, a boilerplate generated right this template is for pass through help but we are writing uh, banderized health okay or health service so for that uh, they already given comment okay what to do so we need to use instead of impl here okay impl name we should use service to make which makes sense to differentiate between pass through and uh, um, and the banderized health by just seeing the name okay and then we need to change uh, uh, this uh, script uh, script uh, this tag as a binary okay and if we need to write dot rc file also that will do separately but for now let's do this this thing here so we need to write binary and then we need to uh, we need to change this one as service okay so this thing is good enough for us to um, yeah this is good enough to for us to to next so now uh, we we compile this one uh, this file okay and and also we uh, we got dot uh, l dot l2 dot h generated okay so if we check this uh, now we'll if we check foobar dot h like this and if you want to do any change here uh, you need to know those apis right you need to know those apis as well as if you want to check what is there in i foobar dot h every time we have to go there uh, in our folder and we need to refer this uh, file and we need to open it. so ultimately uh, now i'm what i'm trying to say is uh, uh, to navigate across the file it is not easy to work in vim directly okay vim console uh, so it is we can do it i'm not saying we cannot do but if you already know uh, things apis and everything you are already uh, worked before like i have already done something here so i can do in console uh, up to an extent uh, but if you're doing for um, the if you're new actually here and you want to explore a bit more even i also want to explore a bit more uh, to be to get updated with everything then you should use ide now uh, for hal development there's nothing i mean there's no official ide right there's no official ID available i tried with uh, different options um, and so we'll we'll see uh, the tidy using id to explore the code and write the code in the next session thank you